Hi guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a little bit different of a video. Maybe not so much camping related, but um, we got hooked on this grill because of camping. So this grill I'm going to be going over is the Blackstone 2 burner, a 28 inch griddle with electric air fryer. At the time of filming this video it was um, $397 through Walmart. Um, it is a Walmart exclusive because it has the air fryer on the bottom. Um, they have one that has two air fryers. This one has a uh, warming drawer and a electric air fryer. Um, I chose that one, it was a little bit smaller and I have a a specific area that I wanted my grill so I went with the smaller uh, smaller size the assembly was a piece of cake it was it went really smooth the directions are you know plain and simple it maybe took me 20 minutes um, and that was from start to finish unboxing and everything it's packaged really well there was there was no damage to the to the box and I had to ship from, from Walmart because there was none in stock in our area so once I got it all set up I got it in our spot here Got it, got it pretty level because uh, when, you're, when you're putting oil in there you want it to be able to drain a little bit towards the back so you don't want it perfectly level but you don't want it slo sloping to one side or the other because you're, you're going to get all your grease pulling in one area. Okay, so once you get all set up, um, you need to season it. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna look real pretty when you first get it, um, but that's gonna be anything you cook on there is gonna stick to it unless you season this thing really well. Um, there's gonna be a couple steps. You need to warm the, you need to warm it up really hot. And you want it to get really, really warm. Um, and I particularly put it on high, close the lid, let it really get warmed up, and then um, you, you apply oil. You want something that has a, a high burn temperature. You don't want something like uh, olive oil. Um, I use just regular canola oil and that, that worked perfectly fine. They do sell a, um, a seasoning, a Blackstone specific seasoning. Uh, I guess it's like a grease. I, I personally, I've seasoned two grills so far that I haven't needed that. Um, I just use uh, just regular canola oil. So you heat it up and then you apply your oil. Um, I use paper towel and tongs. Uh, you'll see in the video, um, I kind of go over it there, and then um, once that burns off, you'll see some smoke coming up, and then you just you want to reapply. I did, I particularly did it about five times, um, and I want the grill, I wanted it nice and black, um, and that's how yours is going to turn, and that's going to make it almost pretty much non stick. Okay, what you want to do is get your grill up really hot, highest temperature you got, put some oil in your bowl. Paper towels in there. I'm just gonna keep rubbing oil onto the grill each time. Let it cook off and then reapply. I'm gonna do it about five times. Put your paper towel into the oil. Use some long tongs because this can get pretty hot. Just get all the surface.
like to get around the edges so this can get pretty rusty too. If you look real close, it's starting to get brown in certain spots. Eventually the whole surface is going to look about that color. Alright, so it's just about cooked off. I'm going to reapply. I'm going to cut to a uh, time lapse here. So you can see the next few steps. So you're not watching me reapply each time. <laughs> temperature a little bit. I'm gonna cook something fatty like bacon. That fat gets it all. Gets into the cast iron really well. It's gonna cook really fast. Bacon finished. I'm gonna take some of it off at a time. Crispy bacon people here. A lot of people eat that chewy bacon. Okay, so cooking on it. Cooking on it is a breeze. Um, I typically like to do it like a medium heat, depending on what you're cooking. Uh, burgers, chicken, you can pretty much, you know, everything cooks pretty quickly on here. So you, you definitely want to be by its side and you want to make sure you're keeping an eye on your food. Um, it has its particular hot zones and I think everyone's grill is going to be a little different. Um, ours is more in the center and around the back left side. Um, I don't know if the burner just is stronger in that area or not. Um, but I tend to see the hot zones are there, so you kind of have to shift the food around. But that's without any grill. You have your hot zones, and you kind of learn those as you're cooking on it. Kind of a learning curve. The grill itself is a really large surface area, like I said. Um, it's huge. It's got... Oh, it's a little dirty. Sorry. Um, it's huge. I got, I got like I said, 15, 15 burgers on there. I cook a whole big packs of chicken. Um, I get a lot of food done. You know, We do a lot of meal prepping, so I'm able to cook all of it at once. And we get all of our food cooked pretty quickly. And the air fryer, it's got a really, really nice stainless basket. Um, it's essentially non-stick. It's easy clean up. Dishwasher safe. Um, you just toss it in the dishwasher and it pretty much cleans itself. Blackstone's uh, customer service is top notch. I, uh, I had an issue with this. Um, the one side burner would, would light, the other wasn't. Uh, it, sent, it seemed like the igniter wasn't, wasn't clicking. I wasn't getting any spark from there. Um, shot them a quick, quick email and they got back to me in a couple days and they apologized for being it was only that it was a couple days and, you know they said they were really backed up they've, they've been pretty pretty busy with uh, between people buying buying because of campers their their business is exploding um, they got back to me they gave me a quick answer I was able to fix it myself it wasn't even no, no parts no nothing it was just a quick little simple thing probably something I could have figured out but um, you know something I I quickly got an answer from them so it worked out good they're, they're Customer service is great. You can either contact them by phone or by email. Um, and like I said, a couple days, got right back to me. So overall, we really like this grill. We fell in love with Blackstone products. We have one, we have a 22 inch uh, tabletop for our camper. We cook everything on that, breakfast, lunch, dinner. My wife even does a really good dessert. Um, so these things are very versatile. You can cook almost everything in it. Um, I knew once our previous grill went, I was getting a Blackstone. I was counting down the days for it to go. And once it did, I wanted the one with the, the air fryer. You can cook everything out here. Um, we have an air fryer inside that we barely use anymore. Now we use the air fryer all the time. Um, 
I definitely, um, it was a little pricey you know, because it has the air fryer attachment, um, but I think it's totally worth it. If you're uh, looking for a Blackstone, I definitely suggest the one with the air fryer. Um, and if you are in the market for one, like I said, we got ours specifically at Walmart. So down below, I'll put the link. Uh, you can learn more about the grill. Um, there is the 28 inch, and then there's a larger size that has the three burners, and it is a larger, um, larger size griddle. I think it's a 32, I could be wrong. It's got three trays, um, two for air fryer, and one for a roaming tray. Um, like I said, check the link down below if you are interested in the Blackstone. All right, that's all we have. Like I said, this is a short video. Just wanted to get a quick update on my uh, on this grill, give a quick little review. Like I said, if you have any questions, uh, leave us a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thank you.